Yo, what's up guys? We're going to be going over some of the most important crates in the game. I've had a lot of questions about how to get past the revolver stage, um, how to get scrap to research items. I've made a video on how to gather scrap and components, but I haven't made a video necessarily on how to get scrap and guns and gear so i'm going to be going over the uh what spawns in what where you get it from what you're gonna have to do to get it and um like generally what monuments you want to run to get these things so first of all we're going to go over these first couple right here so um at the beginning of the game if you're looking for some easy weapons i would just keep running down a road or try to kill an animal like hit a tree get a spear kill an animal farm it um until you get enough bones you know what i mean just do whatever you can to get some low grade to go on a boat run and only farm red barrels for gas for your boat and these things um as you can see we already got a laptop which we can recycle for tech trash and more scrap you can recycle this for gears which will give you more scrap and get some baloney right there you know what i mean but like overall you're gonna get quite a bit of scrap and we'll just go through this real quick and see what we get out of 10 of them we already got some ammo for a pistol got a bit of clothes if you need that i mean most of the time it might be some garbage but look we got a tool that's very useful we got a tool and something to break barrels with we got clothes and 50 scrap out of 10. we can recycle these to get components out of them that we can recycle for scrap and we got some ammo just out of 10 of them now let's say you're having a very difficult time getting low grade for furnaces or for a boat run you could go to caves which are generally pretty hidden on the map but they look like this there is kind of a like this is a cave over here that i've been to before and built in it's got like a little dark spot right there uh for new players that don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna explain how you find them it's very difficult to like see it on a large map like this but you can see right here this is probably another cave it's like a little crescent moon and it's got like a bump if you look at it really closely there's like elevated land right here there's a little shadow and then it's like a little half circle so you can go around looking for caves or you just might accidentally stumble upon one in which case you will have these two loot containers in there which give you tools and low grade you can throw that out or recycle it for cloth they give you better tools along with the uh, stone tools they give you these regular pickaxes and axes they give you metal frags and high quality and gunpowder but you see we've already got almost enough uh, for half a furnace just out of 10 of them um obviously there's not going to be 10 in a cave but you could get some tools this way quick tools um these also have like similar things in them We're just going to go through all of them just so if any new players are out there and they don't know about this you can kind of get an idea of what is in these crates and if you're a veteran um i would suggest learning what is in these things so if you are in need of something and you're nearby like a location that has said items or containers i mean you can easily get some tools super quick if you need some tools, especially at the start of the game. Caves are very useful to get tools to get yourself ahead of other people farming faster to get your base down quicker. So let's just throw some of this stuff out real quick. Clear up a bit of inventory space. So the main thing that we were looking for with the cave is quick tools and low grade. Um, you can use the low grade to go on a boat run to farm scrap and... Um, in the uh, tool crate, you can farm scrap, you get tools and gear out of there, but more importantly, you get computers, CCT cameras, you get weapons like crossbows, that's where you can get salvaged items, pistol and shotgun ammo, they do have low grade in them sometimes, sometimes they will spawn a jackhammer and a chainsaw, and um, the most important thing, which is about 1 in 100, I think it is, 1 in 100 chance to get explosive ammo which is why you would want to farm that um, if you don't want to like 
necessarily take down Bradley or get a supply drop. This would be a safer way to try to get explosive ammo, especially on modded servers where the gather rate is higher. You'll have a better chance of getting explosive ammo. So if we take a look at airdrops now, you can get supply signals from things like uh, Bradley crates, helicopter crates, I think... Let me take a look real quick. I'm not sure if the Chinook crates drop them. I don't think they do. Doesn't look like they do, no. But you can get them from Bradley crates and the Heli crates. And also you can get them from military crates. And these things are very useful. And they do drop randomly. Through I think it's noon every day. A uh, crate will drop and you'll see they give you ammo, gear. Uh, this one has an eight times the l96 auto turret get all sorts of crazy things this is the way that you get past the revolver stage is going for that first day airdrop and getting your hands on a gun potentially killing people sometimes it'll give you more than other times and that's okay so this one we got something very important in here along with a gun so if you get to it and there's people there fighting you what i would do is run up to it grab the gun if you can grab the ammo for your gun and try to kill the people and then take the rest of it that is usually how i go about it and you can see that we get a lot of shotgun traps we got some explosives in this one as well so if you just go for these every day if you're starting off look this one's got an ak in it you know what i mean like this is how you get past the revolver stage you might have to go for more than one, but judging from these 10, it's going to be about one in three that you'll get a good gun out of it or some good explosives out of it. Now, the next step, these ones are elite crates and these ones are Bradley crates. These ones are helicopter crates and these ones are military crates. Um, so the next step would be meds probably once you get yourself some guns you're gonna want to get meds and if you go to something like water treatment which I think is the only place that has med crates besides like um, uh, what's it called sewer branch I think has med crates I don't necessarily remember um, let me see if I can double check that real quick yeah off the top of my head I know they spawn at water treatment, and I think there is a spot by Sewer Branch. There's like a little pipe that they are located in. But you can just look it up on rustlabs.com to figure out where these things spawn. A lot of the time it's going to be bandages. I don't think this is correct, because I spawned them in the game. But you should get med syringes out of these. Uh, one in three times you'll get a med syringe. So you got meds. You got some guns out of here. Now you can start doing monuments safely. You should research your weapons and get yourself a workbench by farming scrap either on the road or in the boat. Make sure you have at least one gun researched and some meds and then um, start doing monuments. Get yourself a green card by going to something like Oxum's gas station right here. Or the abandoned supermarket. I'm not sure if there's one on this. It doesn't look like it. But the abandoned supermarket and Oxum's gas stations um, have free green cards. And then you can go to something like Satellite Dish to get a um, blue card. Or you can buy one from the outpost for, I think, 150 scrap or 50. I don't remember what it is because it's hidden behind one of these things you know what I mean like uh, you can hover your mouse over that it takes a little bit of finessing there it is hundred scrap from the outpost or you can just go to satellite dish satellite dish is probably the easiest place to get the blue card at because nobody really ever goes there or you could just go to outpost run there naked farm some scrap along the road recycle your components and boom you got a blue card and then after that, you can start doing things like water treatment, which is a very nice place to go. It has a lot of crates in it. Um, also, the airfield and military tunnel is probably the most beneficial, along with power plant being one of my favorites. So you'll get crates like this, which give you components. 
and quite a bit of scrap. So you see off the bat already, if we were to go recycle this, get a ton of scrap. So these first four would have been dome. Dome has four on it. We would have got basically this out of it. Dome is a good place to go to for military crates. And look, we got a gun out of it and it only took six military crates. Not saying that's going to be the same case for you, but throughout the day while you're farming, keep a little timer for military crates. It depends on the server. So on officials, I think it's every half an hour for military crates. But if you're on a modded server, you're going to want to ask somebody to see what the timers are on it. And then I think these are an hour. So at places like launch site and military tunnels, they will have these elite crates, which give you more components, more scrap, um, more chances to get gear and guns. So, I mean, you just got to practice your PVP. Uh, take advantage of the airdrops that fall daily so you can get some weapons to protect yourself. Go to somewhere like water treatment, get meds, farm scrap in the boat, which is the safest way to do it. Get yourself a scuba set, possibly, because the sunken crates are better than the crates that spawn on the road. Um, also, learning how to like click on this is like beneficial, so like you don't want that. Just farming it really quick, because when you're in um, like a monument or something, you're gonna wanna like be fast. So I usually just right click on something that I don't know where it is in my inventory and then drag something like scrap really fast, throw the rest away. And then these things, um, they pretty much drop the same as like military crates, but they give you more. Uh, I don't know how to like unlock them fast like I don't want to wait 15 minutes so I can just like tell you through rust labs what spawns in them so you can see here they have a large variety of things that drop in them they will give you a little bit more than military crates it's like two military crates three military crates in here um, but yeah, you have a chance to get all of these things. Most importantly, these have a high chance of dropping tier 2 and tier 3 guns. Along with getting you explosives that have a very high chance of dropping in there. And it also drops a supply signal. So yeah, taking advantage of things like this. But, um... These things are probably going to have... You're going to have to fight over them, you know? So if you're a solo player, you might just want to try to stick for airdrops. If you're in, like, a duo or more, you could probably fight your way for one of these things. Or when the boat spawns, that's that's the place to go to to see if you can take it over. But at, you're going to need to start farming monuments and getting airdrops, researching guns by doing boat runs and road runs so that you can do something like the boat when it spawns, which is every... I think it's like three to four days in game or something close to that. It depends on the server um, again. But yeah, like things like the Chinooks that crash at launch site and the boat, you're going to want to have some weapons before you go there because people are going to be going nuts. And then after you've done all this, you got yourself some guns, you just kind of need to learn some more explosives, find them. In general like like the explosives or like rocket launchers or rockets in general you could start taking out Bradley and the helicopter the easiest probably being the helicopter just building yourself a little sheet metal base in the middle of nowhere away from your base putting bags down on the inside getting bags down on the outside so that if you die you can spawn relatively quickly putting some stashes by your bags with some backup gear in it so that way you can get things like this first off the bat M249 with some ammo for it. One of these bad boys. You know what I mean? Like, almost every time you'll get a gun or something. Like, we can recycle these for tech trash to make explosives. We get some tier 3 gear out of here. Some more things that we can recycle. And then a lot of the time, you'll get crates like this that have big boy explosives in it. This one's got some pointless ammo, but it does have explosive ammo. 
So taking down helicopter will give you three of these, I'm pretty sure. And, um, or maybe it's four. I think it's four. But yeah, you'll get some really good gear, um, really good things like this, like deployables, attachments from helicopter crates. And if you have the balls, you can go for Bradley, which drops really strictly high tier loot, like straight off the bat. The first two got two auto turrets, you know what I mean? Like once you get to this point, you're going to be set. This is really something that you're going to really have to be sneaky about, like silently blowing it up and holding it, I think, for a minute and a half is how long it takes, because they're going to be on fire from both of these. You won't be able to access the crates for a little bit of time, and I'm pretty sure it's about a minute and a half that, until you can access the crates. So if you can do it quietly, taking them out silently, Bradley would be the one that you take out silently and try not to get like shot up by them with a uh, silent explosive ammo, or you could just go in loud with 2C4. And if you're really skilled, rocket the helicopter but you could take the helicopter out with something like a revolver if there's enough of you you could take it out with a revolver if you really wanted to but the hardest part about these is protecting them because not only is it loud and they shoot at you and you can hear from really far away but once you take it out it'll have a little icon on the map a little explosion and it'll say a debris field is here so people are going to rush over to here so it's not a guaranteed chance that you will secure the loot if you destroy Bradley or the helicopter but it does drop some pretty um, high tier gear from it so overall from this video I've had a lot of questions from people asking me um, I see a lot of base builds from you Drizzle but how do I get good at collecting other things rather than farming materials from my base like getting guns getting armored doors I have a lot of questions about people uh, people having a hard time getting armored doors etc so really you just have to practice with with the guns the recoil on the guns I have a couple of videos that I might need to um, make make better versions of them for recoil on guns as I've played a few hundred more hours since I made those videos and I've gotten a little better with guns but yeah you're gonna want to you're gonna want to practice recoil so that if you do get the first airdrop or you do find like a double barrel or a revolver or a python in a military crate or in the tool crate that you are able to secure something like a chinook crate on the boat or taking out Bradley if you find a couple c4 while doing monuments you know what i mean you have to like work your way up to it and if you're a solo it's really hard that's why i recommend playing on modded where groups of people don't necessarily go for this kind of thing because they're just out raiding all the time so i mean my process when i get on a server like vanilla solo is i try to get low grade i go on a boat run until i get enough components to make like a tier two workbench and then I go make a little two by two off on the mountain somewhere, like um, where we at right now. So yeah, I would go off to the side and like say this is all water right here. And I would just hop up on these rocks and build a little, little two by two or two by one, depending on how, um, how many nodes are in the area, if there are any, or what I got from recycling. And then at that point, I... Um, try to get some weapons researched if I did find any and if I didn't find any I'll just go back out for another boat run try to get a revolver at least Research it and at that point I should have enough to make more of them And then I'll go get my green card and blue card and start running monuments and if I ever do get to the point Where I can take the boat I will take I will try to get the, the boat that is that is like the main goal for me when I'm trying to like after running monuments and getting better guns and silencers and stuff I'll go try to do the cargo ship and anytime I hear a plane go over I'll look for it and run straight to the airdrop depot and base real quick like I'll, whatever I have on me and just take meds and a weapon and maybe a bag and place it down while I'm running towards the um, airdrop but yeah the airdrop is is something that you want to pay attention to because that's a big game changer if you get an airdrop and you make it back to base and you research whatever you get from it the big game changer and then you work your way up to things like Chinooks and APCs. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, not necessarily the best way I wanted to go about this, 
but you did get an opportunity to see what's in a bunch of them lined up next to each other although the chinooks the chinooks are pretty much just like a double airdrop mixed in with a little bit of a elite crate but yeah um i forgot to start these all up before the video sorry about that if you would like me to have an even more in-depth guide on loot i have uh, tons of questions on my last how to get scrap video so let me know in the comments below specifically what you guys are having trouble with i tried to cover as many questions as i could that i've read throughout all of my videos related to this so yeah if i missed anything if you guys want to see something more specific than what i covered in this video let me know in the comments down below leave a like on this video if this helped you in some way i know a lot of veterans out there don't even know what spawns in these crates they just kind of go out so i hope this helped out not only new players but veterans of the game that didn't necessarily take the time out of their day to go look at the loot rates or whatever but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time